Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, everybody, 8th graders. This is your teacher, Ahlam Abu Juda. I hope that you're doing great. I hope that you're enjoying your time with your family right now. Today, inshallah, we are going to start Unit 10. See the word. Uh, now, we will identify the new vocabulary. Read and extract information from the text which is about Iceland. And then answer the comprehension questions. First, if you look at the title of this unit, see the word. What comes up to your mind? What does it mean to you? Yes. When we look at this phrase, we mean that we have to talk um, to travel to different countries of the world, um, or to go on a trip, to go on a holiday, to go on a journey. So look at this picture. What can you see in this picture? Yes, here, here we can see a man. He's hiking. Uh, where is he hiking? He's hiking in the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is one of, of the seven wonders of the world. It is a rock formation. And most of the area is a part of the national park, which is known in Arizona, in the United States. So would you like to to try would you like to try like this activity? Which part of the words that we you would like to go and see? Now let's go and study the new vocabulary. Today we have three new vocabulary. The first one parliament parliament parliament. It's a noun and the parliament is a group of elected people in a country who make or change laws. So they have the right to make laws or change the laws in the country. Look at this picture. This is the parliament house in Jordan. And those are the members of the parliament. Now, uh, now let's uh, uh, read the example here. Parliament passed a law banning spawning last year. Parliament passed a law banning smoking last year. So they have the right, they had the right to pass a law to had a law banning the smoking last year. Uh, Northern Lights. Northern Lights. It's a noun and this is a picture that refers to this word, Northern Lights, which is the colored lights often seen in the night nice sky in the places near the Arctic Circle. So, when you talk about the northern lights, these are colored lights that you can see, especially at night. Example, when they visited Alaska in spring, they saw the northern lights in the sky. When they visited Alaska in spring, they saw the northern lights in the sky. Now, let's go to the next one. Glasser, glasser. It's also it's a noun. Also, you can pronounce this word as glacier. Glacier. It's an American word. If you want to pronounce it as glacier, it's American pronunciation, and glacier as British. Glacier is a large mass of ice formed by snow or mountains that moves very slowly down a valley. So we have the large amount of ice formed by the snow on the mountains and it's moved, it moves slowly uh, into the valley. So here if you want to walk, uh, if you go and walk on the glacier, you have to be careful. For example, let's read the example here. We stepped carefully into the glacier, the glacier as the ice was dangerous. We stepped carefully on the glacier as the ice was dangerous. So you have to be careful if you want to walk in this place. This is a photo of the cluster on the mountain. Now here, let's open our box. Please open your student book, page 122 and 123. So first here, let's look at the pictures here. Here we have, in the first picture, we have the blue lagoon. Uh, it is the lake that is separated uh, that is separated by the sea um, into rocks 
uh, and uh, into the rocks and sands. Um, if you look at this picture here, we can see the underground volcano activity. Okay, this is in the Iceland. Also, the second picture here, we have the visitors are enjoying their time swimming in the hot waters, uh, also in the Iceland. And look at this picture. This is the picture of the Harpa Concert Hall and the Conference Center, also in the Iceland. Now, what is the title of this passage? The title of this passage is, Never mind its chilly name. As a travel destination, Iceland is hot, land of fire and ice. Now, as you see in this title, Iceland as the land of fire and ice, it is known for this, this name as the land of fire and ice. Um, Iceland is a home to some of the largest glaciers in Europe and some of the world's uh, most active volcanoes. So we can see this um, country uh, in its name. So uh, in this passage or in this article, you will find lots of uh, information about Iceland. What is Iceland? What is the capital city of Iceland? Um, uh, if you know, uh, if um, you will, will you will find some information about the history of Iceland, about its climate and weather. What are the places that you have to go if you would like to go to this place? So now here, look at this map. This is the world map. This is the place of Iceland. It is a very small island toward the west of Europe. Okay, it is located on the North Atlantic Ocean. Now, if we go back to the text here, uh, how many, how many paragraphs here? Let's look at the text. How many paragraphs here? Yes, we have five paragraphs. Let's see where are the paragraphs. The first one here, Iceland is Europe's most westerly. This is the first paragraph till this point with me and the second paragraph started with the sentence Iceland of course this is the second paragraph and this is the other part of the second paragraph to the word lively night life now here however this is the third paragraph the paragraph that is started with however this is the third paragraph and here we have the fourth paragraph but there is much more to Iceland then partying, this is the fourth paragraph, and this is the other part of the fourth paragraph. And finally, here we have the final paragraph, which is the fifth paragraph. So as I finally reach my next uh, part of call. So this is the last paragraph. So we have five paragraphs. Today, inshallah, we are going to discuss together the first three paragraphs. And we have to ask some questions and answer them together. So let's start with the first paragraph here. In, first in this paragraph, uh, the writer uh, uh, gives you some geographical information about Iceland, which is located in uh, which is um, which is located in the North, North Atlantic Ocean, uh, towards the west of Europe. And he, here he's describing his feeling as an early explorer um, by linking between the past and present when he talk about the people who migrated, who were the first or the early settler uh, that uh, came to this place. And let, uh, let's um, try to discuss some words which, may, which might be hard for some of you. Um, here we have the word. Uh, wilds. Uh, wilds are the areas of the country that are far from the city or the town, and we can you can find a few people live there. So wilds, which is the areas of the country which is far from the city, few people live there. And here we have another word which is um, migrated. Migrated to 
who migrated, the people who went to live in another area for a better life. And here we have another word, maybe it is hard, rucksack. I think you know this word, rucksack, which is the backpack, the backpack, rucksack. And overhead compartment, overhead compartment is the small cup, it's a small cupboard that is above the sea in the plane. You can put your things there. And here we have a buckle up, buckle up uh, to fasten your seat belt for to stay safe. Buckle up is to fasten your seat belt. And I think here this all the new words for you. Now please pause the video here. Take your time, read this paragraph and try to answer these questions. Okay, now after you finished reading this passage or this paragraph, I thought that you uh, finished and answered these questions, which is so easy. The first one, what is Iceland called? What is Iceland called? I think we mentioned this uh, when, we we, when we we talked about the title of this passage. What is Iceland called? Let's find the answer here in this passage. Iceland is Europe's most westerly country with the most northerly capital city in the world. It's my first trip to this land of fire and ice. So here, focus. It's my first trip to this land. This land refers to what? To Iceland. So this land of fire and ice. So it is called as the land of fire and ice. So this is the answer of the first question in the third line. Now let's go to the second question. When did Vikings come to Iceland? When did Vikings come to Iceland? Vikings, the early settlers who came to this land, uh, who migrated from Europe. Uh, so when did they came? When did they come to this uh, island? Uh, to this island. Now let's find the answer here. Let's continue reading here. Um, it, it is with great excitement that I board the, uh, the plane in London for my trip out to the wilds of the no North Atlantic Ocean. In fact, I'd rather feel like a modern Viking explorer following the footsteps of those who migrated there from Northern Europe more than a thousand years before me. So here we have a time. When we ask by when, we have to search for a time. So here, the people who migrated there from, from Northern Europe more than a thousand years ago were the Vikings. So the Vikings came to this land more than a thousand years ago. More than a thousand years ago. So this is the answer of the second question here in the middle of the paragraph. Now, after we finish discussing this test, can you give me some some nouns in this text? Now let's find them together. Here we have Iceland, Europe, country, excitement. Here we have uh, the end of the word. The suffix of the word is meant that refer that refers to a noun. The plane. The plane is a noun. Here before the plane we have the article the. London is a city. Sorry, it's a country. And here we have ocean, also it's a place. Uh, let's search for more nouns. We have Europe and you can find more than this. Please try to highlight these nouns on your student book in the first paragraph. Now let's move on to the second slide. Here in this paragraph, the second paragraph, you can uh, see that the writer uh, provides a full description of the capital city of Iceland, which is Reykjavik, and um, he provides some historical information about the first settlers. Uh, also, he mentions some of the places to go there. So let's read uh, these, uh, this paragraph, scan it, scan it very well and try to answer these three questions. The first question, who established the world's first parliament? The second one, 
What is Reykjavik known for? Three, when was Reykjavik awarded the title of Europe's City of Culture and why? Before reading this passage, let me help you with some uh, with the new some some new words. Maybe it's new for you. Um, the first one, mythical, mythical. This is not a new word. We talk this word in the first semester, if you remember, when we learn about the mystery of Maya. Mythical, which means legendary. The mythical land. It's a legendary land. Mythical land. Legendary land. And real land. Uh, here, uh, this other word we have established. When you establish some, something, you set set up this thing or create this thing. I establish the the school. I create the school or I set up the school. Here we have another word which is um, the city known for it's popular for. And here, also we have the word here, which is stylish, or stylish, which is um, fashionable, attra attractive. So stylish at architecture, which is the stylish or fashionable or attractive building design or building style, or the building stu the structure of the building. So architecture design, building design. So stylish here, which means attractive, stylish. When you when you say this is a stylish girl, she's fashionable, she's attractive. And here we have uh, Reykjavik. This is the city center of Reykjavik. It is the city center of Iceland. And here we have this phrase, thanks to. This is a new word. Thanks to, which means uh, because of. Thanks to, because of. Okay, and uh, this is all what we have. This is all about the words, the new words. Now, pause the video. Give yourself time to answer these three questions. Okay, now let's answer the questions together. Who established the world's first parliament? Who established the, the world's first parliament? Let's see here. Iceland, of course, is no longer just the mythical land of fire and ice that we imagine it to be. Those early settlers quickly established. So, those early settlers quickly established. Here we have the key word you can, that help you to find the answer. Established. We have established the foundations for a civilized society by creating the world's first parliament. So, who established the world's first parliament? The early settlers. Who, which, the early settlers. Who are the Vikings? The early settlers who are the Vikings. The first people who settled in the Iceland. Now, let's go to the second question. What is Reykjavik known for? What is Reykjavik known for? As we mentioned, Reykjavik is the capital city of um, Iceland. What is it known for? Let's find out the, the, question, the answer here. Let's continue reading. Today, the country with its population of just over 310,000 people, spread over 100,000 square kilometers, has suffered a banking and financial crisis along with the rest of us. The capital, Reykjavik, is a small looking city known for its colorful and stylish ar architecture. So it is known for its colorful and stylish architecture. Also here we have the keyword known for. It is known for what? It's known for its colorful and stylish architecture. Now let's go to the third question. When was Reykjavik awarded the title of Europe's city of culture and why? When and why? So here we have to look for the the answer. We have to look for a time here because we have the question started with when. When was the Reykjavik uh, awarded the title of Europe's city of culture and why it was awarded as the title of Europe's city of culture? 
let's continue reading here. The city center is full of shops, art galleries, cafes, and bookshops. In 2000, Reykjavik it was very deserved awarded the title of Europe City of, of Culture thanks to its impressive art collections and museums and a lively night life. So here, when was when was it where did the title of Europe study of culture in 2000 in 2000 in this year it was awarded awarded as the title of Europe city of culture and why thanks to its impressive art collections because of its impressive art collections and museums and lively night life now after we discuss the second paragraph can you find here? Um, please find um, adjectives. So let's find the adjectives together. Here we have the word mythical, mythical, legendary. It's an adjective. It it, it comes before the word land, which is a noun. So mythical here described the word land, which is mythical. Okay, now what else? Mm, okay, here we have the word small, clean, small, clean, city, small, small and clean are adjectives which describe the noun, which is city. So small, clean, adjectives, which describe the noun city. So the noun is clean and the small, which is the Reykjavik. Colorful, colorful, stylish, colorful, stylish. These are adjectives too, for its colorful and stylish architecture. So here they describe the building as a colorful and stylish. Colorful and stylish comes before the noun architecture. Okay, thanks for thanks a lot. Now let's move on to the next slide, which is the paragraph three. In this paragraph, the writer is talking about the summer and uh, winter weather conditions and especially about the northern lights. Uh, here he, in this paragraph, he uh, described this wonderful scenery and this amazing uh, scene of the, uh, the, of the land, especially at night, which is full of lights. And here, uh, let's um, see some uh, the new words, maybe which is so new for you. Um, the hustle and puzzle, the hustle and puzzle, this is an idiom, the hustle and puzzle, which means a noise and activity. The noise and activity, leaving the hustle and puzzle to leave the noise and activity. So here he's talking about um, a calm place um, where there is no noise in this place. Um, which is the volcanoes and lava fields. The lava fields, the lava fields um, are the, uh, the wide areas that covered with the cold lava that came up from the volcano. Um, and here we have the landscape, which means the scenery, landscape scenery, emerge, here come out, to come out, emerge, to come out. And here we have spectacularly, which means stunningly, stunningly or impressively, splendidly. Um, um, and here we have a word which is um, in route, in route on the way, in route on the way. Well, um, uh, the whole traveling, through the traveling, on the way, en route, on the way, to the famous, to the popular Blue Lagoon. Here, okay. Now, 
And here at the end we have here uh, the word uh, or this phrase well into the small hours delight you have to to get laughter and delight to be uh, well into the small hours well into the small hours which means um until the early the early hours of a uh, morning between the midnight and the um, time when the sun rises so here well into the small hours he, he's talking about the hours, the hours um, between the midnight and the, uh, the, the time of the sun, when the sun rises. Now, let's read these questions and take your time uh, to read this pa paragraph. Uh, you can hear here, please, after reading these questions together, pause the video and take to your time to answer the questions. Number one, how did the how did the long winter nights often light up? Two, find a word in the text which means soon. Three, according to paragraph three, write the sentence that shows that there is a lot of daylight in summer in Iceland. So now let's answer the questions together. Number one, how did the long winter nights often light up? How did the long winter nights often light up? So here we're, we're asking about the nights, the winter nights, the light, okay. So let's read here the, the paragraph. However, leaving the hustle and bustle of the city behind me following my arrival and traveling out towards the volcanoes and lava fields, Iceland legendary landscape begins to emerge and visions of those early settlers retain. Perhaps it's the long winter. So here we have the long winter. This is the keywords and, and you can find it here in the question. So that's help you to answer it. So perhaps it is the long winter nights often spectacularly light, lit up by the northern lights. So how did it, how did it light up? by the northern lights, by the colored lights that is covered the sky, the night sky. Now here this is the answer of the first question, covered or sorry, lit up by the northern lights. Let's go here to the second question, find a word in the text which means soon. Find a word in the text which means soon. Here, uh, let's find this uh, word. Uh, look at this word shortly. It is with no surprise then that shortly after my arrival in a small village en route to the famous Blue Lagoon. So shortly here means soon. Shortly means soon. The third question, according to paragraph three, write the sentence that shows that there is a lot of daylight in summer in Iceland. So uh, we want to find the sentence that tells us that there is a lot of daylight in the summer in Iceland. Look at this sentence that is talking about the summer days or the extraordinarily long summer days with up to 22 hours of daylight that bring a magical almost spiritual quality to this land and its people so this is the sentence that shows that there is a lot of daylight in the summer in iceland now after we finish discussing these three paragraphs from this paragraph please give me adverbs can you find any adverbs in this paragraph Okay, here we have the word spectacularly, that ends with L-Y, extraordinarily, extraordinarily, also another adverb. And here we have shortly, which means soon, shortly, soon. And these are the adverb in this paragraph. Now, this is all what, uh, all what I have for today. Now,
we have task here. My great student, read the text again, please, on pages 122 and 123, and answer the questions in the worksheet I sent in the WhatsApp group. So please try to read the text again, just uh, the whole text, and answer the questions in the worksheet. Uh, thanks for listening, um, and have a great time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.